Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. See how it's all luck. I got so lucky. No, but I'm a, I believe you make your own luck at times. Yeah. What do you think, Chip? Yeah. Everything happens for a reason, you know. No. You, you had to. You had to have that uh, Jack White all in incident to be even be here. Yeah, yeah, I think. I think that's. I think that's true. But I was. So then I, I went to Fremantle and I was. I was doing Britain's Fremantle Got Talent. Fremantle is a big production, big production company. Big production company. I was working on Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. And mate, while I was, I was on it. I can remember. Not it. as someone with talent, but no. as Zero. someone working behind. No, yeah. someone. I was. I was a yeah. researcher, and my job at the time was to write these biogs. Like write write the biography. So the, the guest that was on, I can remember it so well. The guest that was on was Miley Cyrus. And I had to write this biography for the judges, uh, David Williams, Simon yeah. Cowell, to read about the guest. And what I'd have to do is I'd have to watch Miley Cyrus when she was on Graham Norton and say, this is what she spoke about, so don't speak to her about mm -hmm. it. So I'm writing this stuff. I'm thinking, I hate this job. I hate everything about it. I don't care about the show. I've kind of started to like Miley Cyrus now. But at the time, yeah. I was thinking, she was coming on to do that wrecking ball. It's just like, I can't, I can't do this. I can't, can't keep doing this. And simultaneously, right, and over there, I could hear this conversation going on about football. They were all talking about football over there. So I went over, obviously, and said, who are you and what are you doing? They went, oh, we're starting up these football fan channels. I went, okay. Talk to me. I don't know what they are. They went, we're going to do football fan channels. We're looking for, we're going to do these four clubs. It was Manchester United, Chelsea, Tottenham, and then an agnostic channel. It was mm -hmm. like one that fed into everything. Yeah. I went, okay, well, I'm a Chelsea fan. <laughs> they went, yeah, well, we're looking for a producer. I was like, wow, I'm a researcher on no money, so I can do that. They went, yeah, but we need, basically, I worked out that they needed somebody who was a match going fan, season ticket holder. Yeah. Which you were? Which I was. Yeah. So that I'm means, Chelsea. that means yeah. in the whole world, there's four, well, 25,000, 30,000 people that could do the job. A lot of them are cab drivers that don't want the job anyway, right? Yeah. Then, then I'm, I'm the one in the room. I was like, if I don't get this job, how, what job am I ever going to get? So I eventually managed to chat my way into it, got the job, quit Miley Cyrus on the day, pretty much. Yeah. And that was YouTube. That was my first ever. And so what were those channels? Yeah. What were so they? those channels were called Full Time Devils, which is now Adam yeah. McCullough's channel called The Stretford Paddock. Yeah. It was a Chelsea channel, which is now defunct, called Chelsea Fans Channel. Yeah. And then it was a football, the agnostic channel was called the Football Republic. Yeah. Which, which was um, basically Adam Boltwood's brainchild. And, and I think the yeah. True Geordie was, was heavily involved there as well at one point. Uh, all of them are defunct now, apart from the Adam McCola one, because he, he took it on. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, they, okay, but yeah. it all flopped at Fremantle massively. It was a Really? Why, 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 oh, is, because why was somewhere, somewhere like Arsenal Fan TV doing so well, yet it couldn't be replicated onto what you guys were trying to do? I think because it was Fremantle, they were trying to market it to a, to a ridiculous level. So they were trying to sell it at a massive profit because it was Fremantle. And sell they, it to... to so, so, you know, when they, they were having that. brand conversations, yeah. they, were, they, were set, they were trying to make so much money on it. Also, right. the Chelsea channel that I, was, that I was part of and the, um, the Football Republic and the Manchester United ones were successful. But like the Chelsea one that I was part of, it just didn't really land. I mean, it had yeah. its audience, but it didn't really land. And the amount of budget that they wasted. How I mean, much do you reckon they spent on uh, on getting those? Millions, those absolutely millions. Millions, millions of pounds. Five, I'd say five million. I remember four times me. Devils. Five million. I remember when four times Devils launched or uh, around that period of it launching. I remember scrapping with one of the Dons on Twitter that owned it because they kept <laughs> using KSI to promote it. And I was like, he's a fucking Arsenal fan. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, what are you doing? It was really? like, you're just blowing up a United channel with an Arsenal fan. It was like, yeah, it was working. I think it was Adam. McC it might have been Adam that I was arguing with on Twitter. Who, yeah. who hasn't friends? argued we're, with Adam? We're friends, yeah, we're point, friends now, but I don't even know why I cared. Like, who gives a shit? It was a yeah. smart move, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, it's, it, it, I, know, I know what you mean. I can see why you'd get a hump about that, especially when you were young and on Twitter. Have you ever been uh, cancelled or close to it? I've had my moments. I've had my moments in the Chelsea community. Yeah, I've been persona non grata by the with the Chelsea online community. Are, are you? Are, do the Chelsea online community like you? No, really. No, hate me. Really? Yeah, hate me. The you online the, lot is so. What like? What, everything, what was the turning point of Chelsea fans going? This Donny is a fucking knob. 
Oh, was I, there one? Because usually there's one clip. There was prob. I'd say there's been a few. Um, I'd say the the thing that did it. Sorry, the the debate yeah. around Mauricio Sari became an issue. Yeah. So generally speaking, the fans in the stadium didn't like Sari, but w- the worldwide support were very positive towards him. And I became somebody who's quite outspoken about Sari not being Chelsea manager. Then there's a debate about Stamford Bridge. Like I truly believe that Chelsea can only play at Stamford Bridge. We'll never move stadiums. We'll never ever not play at Stamford Bridge. Yeah. If you aren't, if you don't have an affinity to Stamford Bridge, you probably think the stadium's holding us back. Move the stadium and, and we'll be a better team. The two will never agree. Like I'd rather Chelsea finish 15th in the league, but play at Stamford Bridge. Really? Yeah, of course. It's, it's, it's the because so because you would like, you the soul like of the club is more important. The soul of the club than the success the, of the, the club. There's, there's stuff like that going around the United community because Old Trafford is meant to be possibly get not down, and, yeah. not down and rebuilt because they look at all these other teams and people are you know the younger fans are like look we don't even have a fucking mm. screen this kind of shit and yeah. They, it's an old stadium. Wait, you guys ain't even got a screen. It's an old stadium. <laughs> but like, you know what it is? Like, <laughs> and mine needs to knock that down. <laughs> like, no, nah, but there's just there's a lot with a stadium that could, could, you know, it needs to upgrade eventually. But obviously some people are like, yeah, but this is all traffic, one of the most famous stadiums. But stadium, yeah, but that's so. part, you know, when we were talking about the socials earlier, like that's part of the reason I barely say anything on Twitter anymore. I just don't, yeah. I just don't bother. You but, just save, save it for the, for the live the point, show. Yeah. The, but yeah. I've, I'm, I reckon You don't I've make blocked. money from Twitter though, so. I'm a, exactly. I'm a blocker. I block like even even people who I don't even people who are quite po- polite. If I don't want to read, I just block it. I block everybody. Yeah, but alphas mute. You <clears throat> should mute them. Do you mute? Mute is the ultimate because they think they're talking to you, but they're not. But I don't even want them to have the. I don't even want them to have access. Nah. Because, oh, but no, but they will yeah. have access because these guys all got ten burner accounts, right? Yeah. Because they've they've been blocked by everyone. You'll be in rum- yeah. you'll be in rumble and, there. And not only that, yeah, you've been probably rustled here because they've probably had a wank over the fact that you've blocked them, you see. Yeah, I don't quite understand that. You know when people kind of celebrate being blocked? Yeah. I don't yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, they'll buzz over it. So they'll come on and they'll be like, Look, I'm gonna tweet Chelsea and tell him he's a fucking or ugly Rob, pig. Rob, my name's Rob. No, no, every just day. Chelsea, you are the every fuck. day. <laughs> They're just gonna tweet bullshit at you every day, and then the second they get that block, they'll tweet out a picture yeah, of the picture block. Yeah, and they'll be like, Look this peasant yeah i just don't yeah. get it though yeah it's but, weird. but either but, but way i just can't be Twitter. bothered i just do it because then they're, they're gone they're it's over that person can never be in your life again when i reckon when you were younger on twitter so if twitter was round when you were like 17 right you would have been on football twitter tweeting bollocks yeah you'd have yeah. you'd have gone mad if twitter, twitter was around when i was 17 yeah i, yeah. I would have been i'd have been gobby yeah 100 yeah. yeah. but now i don't bother at all no, do it all fine. on do it all on youtube well, what, is, uh, what are your thoughts on on, on chelsea season so far I know you. T- you know, I know you chat about it for a living. Mate, it's been wild, hasn't it? I mean, it's. Uh, I think every everyone thinks this about their club. Every fan base will probably have said this sentence over some time. But I actually think Chelsea are the champions here. I think Chelsea are the real winners of this quiz. My club is mental. I can't think of any other club where you could go from European champions to world champions to not being able to sell a program at the ground. Like that's a mental journey, isn't it? Yeah. No one else has ever had to close their club shop. While they're European, couple. what is the situation with that? Are you guys are you still able to go to the games though? Still able to go to the games up until the next game, I think, because we couldn't so sell any ticket. Stadium. It won't be empty because if you've pre bought your ticket, your ticket is validated. So, so season, season ticket holders, season, yeah. season ticket holders can go. I don't think that they've been able to sell any tickets for the next home game because that happened post sanction. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's it's mental, and and you've in our game most recently against Brentford which was a ridiculous game. There were pockets of empty, you could see empty patches in the ground, which would have historically been, say, corporate tickets. Yeah. So there's a particular block at a West Stand. Those tickets would have been sponsors' tickets. Yeah. It was empty because sponsors aren't aligned with a club at the moment and therefore those tickets never got sold because they can't be sold. Right, so there's just right, like right. empty segments all over the place. But it's been it's been crazy, but my my... Where do you think? Where do you think? Where do you think it'll end up? Do you know what I genuinely think? Like this isn't. Yeah. I genuinely believe that Chelsea are going to win the European Cup. I genuinely believe that Chelsea are going to become the first English club to retain the European Cup in its current form. In its current form, I know Forrest did it. But did Real Madrid not win it back to back? Yeah, but no English club's done it. They did. Oh, they English did three. Club, sorry. Yeah, they did sorry. three. Yeah, they did. Well, it's not completely out of the question. No, I don't think it is. Firing, and then you might be in. 
I th- I genuinely, but look, it would be so chill. Yeah, it would Havertz be so chill. What do you mean? Have every it's... other Don- uh, mate, that, hey. it, Chelsea are dog. No, no, your your, the boys, your, uh, your boys are the only problem. Do you not think City? No, I don't. They're not in a European competition. No, it's true. City. They've not, got to win it. A summer not in a Euro- I won't have City. Yet. I think it's rude that you even brought them up in a European conversation. They have no nah, place nah, to at be, this table. To be fair, like the you know, yeah, they have they have a place at the quarterfinals. No, they yeah, they're in the last eight, but they don't deserve until they until they change this narrative, and I believe they will change. It. But until they do, I don't focus. I don't, I'm not having them in Europe. They make a pig's ear of it. Look at Pep Guardiola's record for City in Europe. Think about it over the years. They've been knocked out by Leon, Tottenham, Monaco, Liverpool, and Chelsea. Done them in a final last year. That's Pep Guardiola's five years. Leon. Yeah. No, but that's fine. But at some point, that's. No, got I to believe change. there is an inevitability about. And them. I think. And I think this year. Yeah. Does, could it be this year? Okay, I'll, go, I'll tell you the truth as to what's going to happen. Okay. Atletico Madrid knock City out. They beat them home and away. I don't know. Both, you know. both they, beat, they beat them home and away. I don't know. They're, they are some side like to uh, play against because there's no other English side. team like them. Perfect side to play against City as well. Simeone, the, Who have you the guys antics. Got? I think we're, City we're Real, Madrid. Real Madrid. Real Madrid. We're Real Madrid. It wasn't yeah. like they were fucking Wait, insane there's games against on tonight, us. Isn't there? Games on tonight. Yeah, but it's uh, City tonight, isn't it? City. City. Let's go. No, uh, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah so Atletico. we'll get the first leg. We get the first leg. City Atletico tonight, and then there's there's another one, isn't there? All right, but can we get a score? Liverpool get, tonight? Right, right. Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool. You're fine. You're right, fine. Right. You've been home and away. Rory, well. let's drop some score predictions then. Light work. Uh, Liverpool win 2 0. Atletico Madrid win 1 0. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think City, Liverpool. Wait, can City and Liverpool be in the final? Yeah, I really wouldn't like to see that. Yes, they can because it's Chelsea. It's it's, it's Liverpool Bayern final. It's semi, isn't it? It's Liverpool yeah. Bayern Chelsea City. So they're on both sides. Yeah, yeah. I, w- I wouldn't like to see it. I don't because the last time when Liverpool had Tottenham, that was a fucking shocker of a final. But obviously, at Liverpool fan, I didn't really give a shit. Mm. Um, but yeah, I just don't like all English finals. 